Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 8.7, Solving Problems with Exponential and Logarithmic Functions. So we usually use logarithms for problems that involve a really large range, and we want to compress that range. Um, so for example, when we're measuring the hydrogen ion concentration uh, in a formula, then um, we can have a really wide range of how many hydrogen ions are concentrated or whatever, you know. So um, we would use a logarithmic scale. Um, to make it a little bit smaller, more manageable, so it only goes up to 7, right? So, anyways, in chemistry, the pH is based on a logarithmic scale. By the way, I just wanted to say that um, you don't need to know chemistry, like you don't have to be taking chemistry in order to do well in this section. Uh, we will give you the formulas, you don't have to worry about it, so don't bother <laughs> memorizing tons and tons of formulas that you get from your friends. It's going to be okay, all right? You only have to be able to apply the knowledge that we've given you here. So in chemistry, pH is based on a logarithmic scale. If the relationship between pH and hydrogen ion concentration is given by this formula, then calculate the pH if the concentration of hydrogen ions is 0 0.0001 moles per liter. So the concentration of hydrogen ions is given by this H plus symbol. So we will plug that into the formula. So pH, actually let me just give myself some space down here. Um, pH is equal to negative log this H thing. And we're going to substitute that in. So pH is equal to negative log 0 0.0001. Um, so you could just type this into your calculator since it is log base 10. And we get pH is equal to 4. And there you go. It's that simple. B, the pH of lemon juice is 2. Actually, let me use a different color. What is the co concentration of hydrogen ions? So now we'll have 2 is equal to negative log h thingy, and we can rearrange this so we get negative 2 equals log h thingy, h hydrogen ion concentration, and then we can change to the exponential form, so 10 to the negative 2 is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration. There you go. Uh, or I guess we could write 0.01. Okay. And the last question, um, how, if the hydrogen ion concentration is a measure of the strength of an acid, how much stronger is an acid with pH 1.6 than an acid with pH 2.5? We want to find the, um, the magnitude, okay, so that's multiplying or dividing. So first we'll find the hydrogen ion concentration of the pH 1.6. So uh, 1.6 is equal to negative log hydrogen ion concentration, and we just apply the same steps. So we're going to get that the first one has a hydrogen ion concentration of uh, 10 to the negative 1.6. For the second one, we apply the same steps. And um, we should get an answer. Sorry, I'm just writing it out here that it's 10 to the negative 2.5. Okay, so to find how much stronger this one is than this one, we're going to divide. So the strength is negative 10 to the negative 1.6 over 10 to the negative 2.5. If you type that into your calculator, you get approximately 7.94. So the um, pH 1.6 is 7.94 times stronger than the pH uh, 2.5 as an acid. Okay. Next, we often use um, logarithms for the Richter scale as well. So in this case, it's not giving us a formula, and we're going to have to kind of figure out what that formula is. An earthquake of magnitude 2 is 10 times more intense than one of magnitude 1. So that tells us that this 10 times means that we have a base of 10, um, and we're going to be using base 10. If the average earthquake measures 4.5 on the Richter scale, and the one in Toronto in June 2010, I know that was a long time ago, but we did have a sort of a major, I guess it wasn't, it was major for our area, magnitude 5.0. Uh, how much 
more intense was the Toronto earthquake than an average earthquake, and then how much more intense than the Toronto earthquake was the Haitian earthquake of 2010, which was a magnitude 7.2. That was a really big catastrophic earthquake, if you remember, way back um, to 2010. So let's do the first one first. Um, so basically, we're going to be using 10 to the, so 10 to the 5 over 10 to the 4.5 is going to be the um, number of times it is more intense. So this actually gives us 10 to the 0 0.5 and <coughs> you just type that into your calculator and you get this is about 3.16. So the Toronto earthquake was 3.16 times more intense than the average. I don't know if you remember that earthquake, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. Most people felt like somebody was kicking their chairs or something like that. Okay, so, and to do the Haitian one, we're going to do the exact same thing. So 10 to the 7.2 over 10 to the 5. That gives us 10 to the 2.2, uh, which is approximately... 158.49 times, and that's why it was so much more catastrophic. The Haitian earthquake was 158.49 times more intense than Toronto's. Okay, okay, we've got two more types of questions. Blue jeans fade when washed due to the loss of blue dye from the fabric. If each washing moves about 2.2% of the original dye, how many washings are required to give a pair of jeans a well-worn look, which means they should contain at most 30% of the original dye? So we're going to solve um, for 30%. Remember, it's removing 2.2, uh, so we're decaying. So basically, we're using the formula A equals A naught times 1 minus I to the N. Okay, we're subtracting because it is a decay rate. We're trying to remove. Um, and we want we, we know we want 30% of the original, so 0 0.3 of the original is the amount that we're looking for. And we're subtracting 0 0.022% of the dye per washing, and n is going to be the number of washings. So actually, let's, let, let's make some let statements. So let n be number of washings, because it's not very clear what these parts are. A is the amount of dye left. A naught is the original amount of dye. OK. So now we're going to solve this. You can see we've got A0 in both of these. So we'll divide both sides by A0. We get 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.978 to the n. And we'll put it into logarithmic format. So log base 0 0.978 of 0 0.3 is equal to n. We get n equals 54.12 according to my calculator. You just type into your calculator. So we know that we need to have more than that number of washings, right? So we're actually not going to just round down. It says at most 30%. So 30% is 54 and a little bit. So we do not have to need to have to do 55 washings. Sorry, the grammar. So um, we need to wash, or they need to wash, because we're not washing it. So there needs to be <laughs> 55 washings of the jeans. There you go. Alright, so remember word problem, word solution. Last one. The logarithm to measure sound is L equals 10 log I over I naught, where L is loudness in decibels, and I is the intensity of the sound measured. Uh, I naught is 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. That's the intensity of sound at the threshold of hearing. So the very softest thing that you can hear has 10 to the negative 12 as its um, intensity. So it gives you a few things. Soft whisper is 30 decibels, normal conversation 60, shouting 80, rock concert 120, space shuttle launch 180. So how much more intense is a space shuttle launch, that's 180, than a normal conversation, which is the 60. So we're just going to solve for the intensity and then we will divide again. So 
for the space shuttle launch. And by the way, again, you don't need to memorize this formula. We're not going to make you memorize it. We would give you this formula if you needed it, or you should be able to derive it, because you can see in the earthquake and uh, the genes, we didn't give you a formula, but you could find it. So space shuttle launch, um, L is equal to 10 log I over I naught. And we actually could simplify this because we know what I naught is. L is equal to 10 log I over 10 to the negative 12. I'm going to use my quotient rule. Um, so this is actually 10 to the 12, plus 10 to the 12. Like this. So we're going to get L equals 10 times a log I plus 12. So you can simplify it if you want, or we could have just plugged it in the way it was. Um, we know that the loudness is 180, so 180 is equal to 10 times a log I plus 12. So we'll just divide. 18 is equal to log I plus 12. So log I is equal to 6, which means I is equal to 10 to the 6. I'm just changing into exponential form. So that's for the space shuttle. And let's do it for the um, normal conversation, which is 60 decibels. So 60 is equal to 10 log I plus 12, divide by the 10 again, and subtract. So the intensity is 10 to the negative 6. So to get the um, difference in intensities, we're going to do 10 to the 6, divide by 10 to the negative 6, which gives us 10 to the 12. So that is how much more intense a shuttle launch is than a normal conversation. A shuttle launch is 10 to the 12 times more intense than conversation, which totally makes sense. It is quite intense. Okay, and that's my last question. So you can see basically we are either developing formulas or giving you formulas, and then you're just solving them. There are a lot of questions that ask about uh, to compare intensity or compare strength or something like that, in which case we want to divide. Um, and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. You can ask me any questions you have in class, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.